Hi guys, welcome to Pug Piper channel. In this video, we are going to talk about how to use ChatGPT in supply chain management. These days, many of us are talking about an artificial intelligence tool called ChatGPT. Go to Google, just search what is ChatGPT. You will get a page related to ChatGPT. You will understand that it is a chatbot. A simple chatbot it will chat with you it is a pre-trained transformer so it uses artificial intelligence and it talks to you like a human it was developed by open ai and it was launched on 30th november 2022 let us go to the open ai website it is nothing but openai.com to use ChatGPT, you have to sign up and create a login. First, create a sign up login, then go to login. Once you click login, you will have multiple options. Select ChatGPT. So it will land up to the uh, chatbot page. As I said earlier, you have to chat with this tool. For example, I'm asking, how are you? See, it is telling that it is an AI language model. It don't have feelings or emotions that I'm here and fully operational to assist you. So as I said earlier, we will talk about how to use chat GPT in supply chain management. Uh, let us take a procurement related case. So I'll type what is the case here. Our company has a supplier who has 20 years of experience in industry doing business with mm -hmm. us from past five years. Current suppliers quality Rejection is 1%, which is at par with industry standard. Meanwhile, we have identified a new source who is having an experience of 10 years in the industry and providing us with the price of 5% lesser than current source. So now what is the purchase that I to be followed? So it is obvious when you identify a new source who is ready to offer you discounted price as a procurement person you get into this kind of situation whether to go ahead with the new source or continue with the existing source so there will be a confusion get arise in the mind of the purchasing manager so now chat gpt can help you with different uh, angles how you can uh, look into this uh, case so once you click enter, so now 
chat gpt is giving you its strategy what are the things you can follow to take a decision first of all supplier assessment of course you have to evaluate the supplier's reputations their reference their track record and feedback from their uh, from other companies of course you have to check the how much they are capable financially as well as what is their production capacity to handle your business then next comes to the quality analysis take samples from the new supplier do some quality tests and uh, you have to compare the quality of both the current and uh, the new supplier So for business continuity, you should have a supplier who is reliable for a long time. So obviously the existing supplier having more experience in the industry so is comparatively more stable than the new supplier. Then comes the price cost analysis. Of course, always the game most of the time starts with the price cost, uh, the other things, uh, comes around but obviously the price and cost is not only the fact designing factor you should talk about the quality you should talk about uh, the production capability and other things if possible as chat gpt said discuss with your existing source because you are working with that supplier for five years it is better to discuss with the existing source in case if the existing supplier can come down to that level it is well and good you can continue with it and one more thing is the potential risk with both the supplier is there any supply chain dis disruptions geopolitical issues financial instability because even your existing supplier can get into these kind of uh, risks and take feedback from your peers maybe your competitors also can help you in these kind of uh, things then take the decision and one more thing if your current supplier is the only source better you can think about having a one more supplier because in case any issue related to your existing source will in turn affect your business continuity as well so better to have minimum two sources based on that logic you can go ahead but still as chat gpt said you have to do the supplier assessment quality analysis and everything so do you think this is the only strategy chat gpt can help you with of course it is not so you just click regenerate response so now chat gpt comes up a different way of its strategy so it it is completely new one if you go through so here it first talks about compares the existing suppliers experience uh, against the new supplier then it compares the quality of the existing supplier and you have to uh, evaluate the new suppliers then talks about the pricing then supplier financial st stabilities supplier reliability communication and support negotiate with current supplier then trial period long-term relationship most of the things are repeating but some of the things like new things which is talking here is about the trial period then the supplier communication and support these are some of the new things which chat gpt has added here so likewise the chat gpt can help supply managers to uh, think about the different aspects of their problems and how it can affect the uh, purchase related uh, case here so this is one case which we have uh, talked about and we want to show you one more thing we can uh, 
chat with chat GPT here is related to a logistic problem. Now I'll just type the problem here. Our company has warehouse at B1D, which is at Maharashtra. We have to deliver material to the customers in Mumbai city. Our vehicle starts at 10 a.m. from Vivendi Arrows. Customer A is at Thane. Customer B is at Purla. Customer C is at Kalya. Customer B requires material to be delivered within 11.30 a.m. Bivandi to Kalyan takes 15 minutes. Bivandi to Hane takes 20 minutes. Bivandi to Purla takes one hour. Kalyan to Sane takes deep minutes. Kalyan to Purla takes 15 minutes. Sane to Purla takes 45 minutes. I think we have covered all the uh, routes, uh, if I'm not wrong. So now, what is the best route for delivery? So this is a logistic related problem. So we have three customers within Mumbai cities at different locations. Uh, you know, the person who is from Mumbai, they understand how much uh, this is like a triangle kind of a situation. The three customers are at different uh, locations. Now see what chat GPT says. We will need to on, so it is giving some plan 130, 30, 30, but it is not clearing giving me any time plan so i am asking for time plan required First, it starts 10 a.m. reaches Kalyan. Deliver the material. Depart from Kalyan to Thane. Depart from Kalyan and uh, Thane, which takes around uh, 20 minutes. It reaches Thane. Okay. Okay, deliver at Thane, then depart from customer B and head to Kurla. But Thane to Kurla is 45 minutes. 
Welcome. The teachers. No, no. Oh, again, chat GPT is giving some different answer, but still, it gives the it is doing the same mistake which is doing earlier. So you can uh, understand that chat GPT is a trained model, which is an artificial intelligence model. So it's every day it is coming up with different answers and outputs to help us with. So you can decide that, yes, of course, chat GPT can help you in decision making, but the information whatever chat GPT is providing is not 100% correct because the way how a human thinks is different but here, uh, artificial intelligence tool is based on programming. It tries to act like a human. Because whatever the program or the artificial intelligence has been designed, so accordingly, the chat GPT behaves. When it was a subjective discussion, when we talked about a strategy, so it was giving related the strategy related to purchase in different ways related to quality and when it related to supplier uh, evaluation, lots of different angles of details it had given. But when it comes to a problem-based uh, question, the chat GPT makes an error, which is obviously we are telling that it takes around 45 minutes from Thane to Kutla, but it's still taking 15 months on. So based on that, so ChatGPT is a tool which you can obviously, you can use in your supply chain management, but you should not believe 100% on this A tool at this moment because the world has transformed a lot. Today, we have reached to a level, a chart board talking to you and helping you with your strategies and giving you answers tomorrow who knows even this kind of a complex problems also can be sorted by this chatbot itself so hope you have learned something new from this video just give a like subscribe to our channel and click notification buttons please share with your friends and families ask them to subscribe our channels as well we will keep on posting these kind of interesting videos in upcoming days as well. Thank you. Bye-bye.